Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Asha'ala. Koholoyim la Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bahashim Rekha Double honors to our apostles and elders, elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. This is Yahweh Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just wanted to touch on a couple of articles with um you know the, the so-called black woman man is just out here reckless as hell so i got two of them and i mean it's plenty of more but you know these just kind of stuck out so you see this accident right here let's just play the news the news article on it it's the driver in a deadly police chase and crash in Hamtramck. Yeah, this happened Thursday afternoon near the intersection of Conant and McNichols in Hamtramck. Prosecutors say 23-year-old Aliyah Glenn drove away from officers during a traffic stop. They say she ran a red light and then crashed into another vehicle. A 37-year-old man died at the scene. Another man died at the hospital the next day. So Glenn faces several charges, including reckless driving and driving with a suspended license causing death. Okay. This one right here is a, is a whole another one right here as well too. The moment she realized she killed two people, I seen this as well. Let's see if we can play this. Let's play a little bit of this too. All you gotta do is just sign up for the permanent mail ballot list. Um, and every election, you will literally. It was supposed to be a beautiful Easter morning in 2021. What happened next would never be forgotten for this family. Okay, no, we ain't. I seen another video on it. We're not gonna go through all that, but let's go back though. You know, show you who you know who we're dealing with here. 23 year old, and she's you know supposedly she's got a wife and whatever the hell. Reckless as hell. You gonna run? You thinking that you about to just? The police got you stopped. And you just like up, I'm not getting out of my car, I'm not you're not arresting me, and you hit the gas. You don't have a driver's license. <laughs> oh man. See here, here we here we go right here. Uh, let me see. Here, here, here where's she at? Uh damn, they done got rid of the, the photos of her ass. And they didn't give her that much uh I think they ended up hitting her with um like five hundred thousand dollars as far as her bail. Yeah, they didn't got rid of the art. They, they didn't got rid of the uh, pictures of her ass because they did have some photos of her up here with her so-called wife or whatever, or her husband or whatever the fuck. Twenty-three years old. And they ain't showing them no more. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Let me see though. Why are they showing this shit? But here's her name. Her name right here. Aaliyah Das Janae Renee Glenn. <laughs> through this is not even the same person this is not her they not um you know how they get man but that's crazy as shit though you know what i'm saying that she just she just drove away bro like she was gonna get away yep so she was charged with um two counts of fleeing and eluding a police officer two counts of reckless driving two counts of driving while license suspended revoked or denied causing death and two counts of resisting and obstructing a police officer causing injury one o'clock in the afternoon you know just out here just just why not just okay you you driving your license you know you, you don't have the license your, your shit's not together just go ahead and accept that ticket now look at all the shit you're going through you didn't kill two people you done ran through lights, reckless as hell, bro. Anyway, like I said again, because I went into this yesterday, and um, I, I seen this story, and it's crazy that they're not showing the actual pictures of her little ass. Yep, yeah, what they did, they had her Instagram and everything on this motherfucker. They done got rid of that shit. I can't see her. Maybe they did. Maybe she deleted that. <laughs> Because that shit was straight up here. She had a whole uh, Instagram hookup, man. You know what I'm saying? With all her little photos and shit. Pictures of her hugged up with her little, her little boo thing. You know? Had a whole page dedicated to, you know, that that that, that alphabet shit. And the Lord is judging her ass. But let, let's go to this next article. Let's see here. Um, check this one out. Disturbing video shows. I'm not going to play no videos, though. Disturbing video shows towering. 
knife wielding woman gunned down after repeatedly stabbing cop. And it's a so called black woman, man. Sydney Wilson, 33, was fatally shot, see? By Fairfax County officer. And so, like, what, what the hell is going on out here? He says, Oh, Jesus Christ, the officer gasped, backing away. Wilson was caught on camera swiping at the officer, knifing him in the face. The cop, a 14 year old department veteran trained in crisis intervention, quickly pulled his firearm and backed up down a dead end hallway, according to the body cam clip. A crazed Wilson was filmed coming towards the officer with the blade held above her head as the officer repeatedly shouted for her to back up. Just seconds later, the knife wielding woman repeatedly stabbed the officer in the face, prompting him to open fire. Shit, I'm surprised he let her get that close. The attacker was shot three times before she collapsed to the floor. The shocking video shows police chief Kevin Dave Davis said the officer did everything he could to de-escalate the situation, but was trapped in a dead end hallway when he opened fire. It would have been much, much worse, Davis said as he released the clip. Yeah, she she got at him though. I don't know. Hey, I'm surprised though, cause hey, um, 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 you know, hey, Jake be getting shot for less, man. Shit, you just got the knife. They gonna hit your ass. They definitely not gonna let you get close enough to him. To um, do anything to him. It says the slash, gash, and slash would have received was at the top of his forehead. Wilson was pronounced dead after being rushed to the nearby hospital. The officer, meanwhile, was treated at the hospital for non threatening um, life injuries. Any loss of life is something that we all mourn. The person whose life was lost in this particular case is, is no different. She has a family and friends and loved ones who loved her very much, who care about her, and undoubtedly are grieving and upset. We acknowledge that, and we pray, and our thoughts are with the particular family. Yeah, man, right. We pray, man, and damn white Jesus, man. Get the hell out of here, man. And, and, and see, dude, I don't know, man. What, what we know is going on. It, it's the last days. Um, and I'm surprised they must have. She must have took this sh her her shit down, cause um I think that you know they she was in the hospital cause she was fucked up too. So they might have had her ass handcuffed to the bed, you know. But you know probably, <laughs> you know probably to um keep her identity. But I don't think I, I didn't think that you know you could scrub your shit like that, cause like I said again I went into this this story yesterday, and I seen it and I'm like well damn you know what I'm saying like you know. They didn't have a picture in the article. I'm like, okay, that, that, you know, sometimes they don't if they, you know, haven't, you know, got that mug shot on them because she had to go to the hospital. She was fucked up too. And supposedly, I think they put her on a, um, a you know, a tether or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, house arrest, some stupid shit. 500, I, you know, some dumb because she should have been locked the hell up, you know? But I'm not sure what her injuries is really super duper like, like that, but. You know, they did have, I'm telling you, they had they had some shit up here yesterday with her with her damn pictures up here. Let me see if this is it. But this might be it. Let me see. No, nah, they just got that. No, nah, they, they took that shit down. They took her shit down. Her shit is gone. Her shit is gone. Anyway. Yes, it is what it is, man. She's probably, you know, getting clowned. Uh, I can't let nobody see me like this. You know, it's because she was one of those little what you what you would consider to be a little baddie. You know, anyway, though, let's get some scriptures, man. Eve is through. Matter of fact, let's go to Romans 13 real quick. Verse 1, let's start there. I'm going to read it in the NLT, the New Living Translation. It says, everyone must sub submit to governing authorities, for all authority comes from, from God. And those in positions of authority have been placed there by God. So, you know, the Lord set these police officers up. Police officers up. You're not getting away from them. You're, you're not going to tell them what you're going to do. You might as well just comply. Matter of fact, the scripture talks about um, agreeing with your adversary um, quickly. Just go ahead and comply. Officer, I don't have this. I don't have that. They might, you know, um, um, tow your shit. They might even take you to jail. But guess what? She wouldn't have been in the shit that she's in right now. She's in some shit. You done killed two people after running through a red light after blowing away from the cops. They got you pulled over and you really thought they was going to allow you to just speed away and not going to chase your ass. They already got your license plate number. They are, you know, 
Even if you had just your, they had not even um, gave chase to her, you know, they still gonna, you know, run you down with, with, with the address that's on the whip. You know, you can hide the car for as, you know, as long as you want to try and hide it. But, you know, coming from Hamtramck over into Detroit, or oh, they, they're gonna, you know, they, they work together. The Detroit police officers are gonna run down on your house, man. So it is what it is. Verse 2, it says, so anyone who rebels against authority is rebelling against the, um, what God has instituted, and they will be punished. So that, that's what happened to her. She was rebelling. Matter of fact, the same woman with the, with the stabbing, with the other police officer. They was rebelling. Verse 3, it says, for the authorities do not strike fear in people who are, who are doing right, but in those who are doing wrong. Would you like to live without fear of the authorities? Do what is right, and they will honor you. The authorities are God's servants, sent for your good. But if you are doing wrong, of course, you, you should be afraid, for they have the power to punish you. They are God's servants, sent for the very purpose of punishing those who do what is wrong. So you must submit to them, not only to avoid punishment, but also to keep a clear conscience. And also to keep your damn life these days. These police officers not playing with Eve, man. They, they sent, matter of fact, they sent Eve to be wilder than um, Jake, man. The so-called black man, he will, he will at least try and, um, you know, um, explain some shit or, you know, keep a cooler head. Don't get me wrong. You know, niggas be doing all kinds of shit. But, you know, generally, Jake, they just going to, you know, like, well, fuck it. You got it, man. You got me right now. You got me right now. Okay, cool. What do I have to do? Well, sir, we're going to have to, you know, whatever they do. Because generally, those are, you know, traffic tickets. A lot of the times, those those um, police officers, they'll tell you, okay, we'll just go and handle your business. I've had... Had that shit happen to me before I came into this truth. You know, now I just, you know, keep things up to the best of my ability. You know what I'm saying? I keep my, you know, my license on, on deck. I keep my um, um, car insurance up up, up, up to um, par and, you know, um, registration and tabs and, you know, plates and all that shit correct. You know what I'm saying? So if they pull me over, I got all that shit. Yeah, it's, it's costly, but the laws of the land says you must have those things to move about. And if you don't, hey, the Lord will have your ass stopped, man. Especially if you in this truth. You running around out here, man. You you into this truth and you just like, oh, I ain't paying them niggas. I ain't doing this and I ain't doing it. All right. Well, you know, because in the spirit in the spirit world, the Lord knows. Oh, this nigga out here driving without. The Lord will have one of them. <laughs> the Lord will have you pulled over, man. Straight up. You're not getting around it, man. You know what I'm saying? So you want to, especially if, if you have the capabilities of doing it, you work. Go ahead and handle your business, man, and make sure that your things are up to par, man. You know? But when it comes straight down to these officers, I think that's in Matthew. You you sh just go ahead and just, hey, they, they got it. Because guess what? They're in, they have the power. You're not going to outrun them. You're not going to outsmart them. You're not going to. You, no, they have the ability to call back up. They'll have two, three more, four more, ten damn cars pull up on your ass. If that don't work, you know what I'm saying? Hey, these people have the ability to call on National Guard. If that shit don't work, <laughs> these motherfuckers are calling the military on your ass for real, for real. You know? Because they have that power. And if that don't work, you know what I'm saying? They'll just keep on, you know, but they're going to get you. They're not about to allow you to just get away, man. It's crazy, man. Matthew 5 and 25, agree with thine adversary quickly while thou art in the way with him. Lest at, the, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge and the judge deliver thee to the officer and thou be cast into prison. And that's pretty much what she's going. She going to go to court. And you know what? With her being as reckless as she is, they're going to have to probably run her down. It's going to be a, a warrant out for her arrest. You know what I'm saying? Because she's not going to go to court. If she won't even, if she'll take off, if she'll hit the gas on a police officer doing a traffic stop, you think she going to court? I bet she probably done already packed some gear, man, and in another state already if if she's out like that. But they supposedly um had put a tether on her ass, man. She probably done, done, done found somebody to get that bitch off for or cut it off her damn self or however it goes. I'm not even sure how tough they make those things these days. But, man, I highly doubt her she's going to show up. Little young E, man, 23 years old. You done wreck your damn life. But guess what? You 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 was into that that ABCDEFG shit proudly when I seen them Instagram pictures yesterday. And it's crazy because they done got rid of that shit. 
I literally just was just in that yesterday. Damn Google playing games. <laughs> oh man. Let's see though. Let's go to uh Isaiah 32. Yeah, little mama got popped up and shit. And she probably would man, don't tell him what was going on with her. She she you know welding that knife with them them police man, they not playing that shit. They're not taking I'm surprised, like I said, I'm surprised again that she was even close enough um to get, you know, even got close enough to this officer to even, you know, slash him the way that she did. Cause normally they they hitting your ass off from way back. Like bitch, you ain't coming. You better stay your ass. You better stay a distance. And matter of fact, just because you got the knife, they're justified in in in, in, in knocking your ass off, man. Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare. And gird sackcloth upon your loins. Which means, hey, overall, you need to repent, man. And come back to being a, 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 a sober woman. These women, man, y'all out here, you're doing too damn much. You're doing way too much, and you're out of order. And guess what? The Lord, hey, he he got some for um 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 shit like that. He'll put your ass back into order. He'll 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 break your ass down. It's one thing about the Lord, and and, and you know she had to be prideful. What the scripture talks about being prideful. That pride comes before a fall. You know how prideful you got to be to hit your damn gas on a police officer. I, I can hear her now. I, I can see her. And woo, you know, she hit the fucking gas, bro. Took off. Ran through a damn red light and you done killed two people. So guess what? All that goddamn pride, you threw. Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride go up before destruction and then halt his spirit before fall. I can see her in them Instagram pictures like, yep, she's proud as hell. We've seen these videos. You always see these videos until the, the, the police officers got their asses in them cuffs. Then they still be kicking, squirming, talking shit. Like these people don't have the authority to put your ass down like a rabbit dog, man. These people don't care. That's crazy as hell, though. They actually did get rid of her. Because um, I know I seen it. I know I seen this shit. Y'all went into it yesterday. She probably, I don't even, I'm, I didn't think you could do that, but maybe you can, hell, I'm not familiar with Instagram like that, and that if you take your shit down, it just, you know what I'm saying, it's, it, it automatically deletes off, off, off um, line like that. But anyway, scripture clearly says, man, to tremble ye women that are at ease. Um, you, yeah, you, you, you're living in the last days, man, of time, man. And you know you're living in the last days of time because you you have women out here, man. I'm talking about literally. They're like fucking brute animals. Brute fucking animals. The last person you want to be around in public, man, these days is really the so-called black woman. I'm talking about they're embarrassing. Loud as hell. Bitch this, bitch that. Nigga this, nigga that. I'll beat you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, reckless as fuck, bro. Ass all out. Tits all out. Don't care. Looking funky as hell everywhere they are, you know, swinging that nasty box around, you know what I'm saying? Just walking through stores, just, you know, you just looking like, you you ain't think about that before you left the house? Like, God dang, like, you know, you're pretty much walking through Walmart and panties. And, and, and got that real pride, like I wish a motherfucker would say something to me. There was a time when, you know, security guards would walk up on people like that and say, um, um, ma'am, you got to leave. Your 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 outfit is inappropriate. They don't even do shit like that no more. That's how you know how how far the, it's gone as far as like destruction. If it, it, you know, that's when you know that it, they say you can tell I'm a nation by their women. You know you're doomed when your women don't give a fuck, bro. Anyway, I didn't want to keep this long. I seen you know I just <laughs> I'm like wow you know what I'm saying and, and 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 you can clearly see right here she she out of her goddamn mind. This is the this is the guy's um um body cam. Look at her. You're looking like rage, man, with the two afro puffs. Look at her, man. That shit look like something out of a goddamn Halloween movie, man. She's probably pissed, arguing with some nigga. 
Because Eve is very emotional, man. This shit is crazy. Yeah, this right here was a cop suicide shit. This, this dude right here in Detroit, he was an off-duty police officer. And he was in his uniform. Something had happened with him, though, you know, where he had to take some time off. But shit, they got that call. He got the shooting at two other police officers from his precinct. And they knocked his ass off um, the other day. Yep. Suicide by cop. Said he had been on the force. I'm assuming a Jake. Been on the force for like 13 years or some shit like that. But, you know, had that mental breakdown or possibly, you know, or just, you know, hey. they He worked with that special, that special unit of, you know, seeing bad shit. So some of that shit probably got to him, man. Some of that shit probably got to him. You you had to rip, you know, these people, man, they, they, they're not covered by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah like that. They are the servants of Yahweh. But if they don't know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, they're not calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. They, these, they're subject to a, a, probably even worse spirits than um the actual regular people. The shit that they be seeing and the shit that they be going through. I can't even imagine a, 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 the behind the scenes shit with these police officers and some of the gruesome shit they be seeing, man. Probably drove his ass damn nuts or he was a wicked ass cop. Wicked as hell because he did get judgment because that's what that was. That was judgment. Matter of fact, let me get another scripture too. Let me get it in 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth and maketh the lie. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. So the Lord is the one that... um. You know, uh, 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 you know, deleted all those people in this particular situation. The car crash with homegirl, those two, those two men that died, the Lord knocked their asses off, and, and and he judged her. You know, he he used her to judge them, and then he judged her. Same thing with this this police officer. She got that lady got judged, man. That was judgment from Yahweh about Shimei was shy, man. Let's get uh Deuteronomy thirty two and thirty nine. Playing with the Lord, man. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So homegirl hitting the gas, thinking she getting away. No, you, 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 no one can deliver you out of the Lord's hand. Judge the rash. Because ain't no telling what kind of, you know, um, you know, you done killed two people, man. By pulling away from officers that already got you pulled over. That's that's a that's a horrible situation for your ass, man. We can get one more though. Let's get one more in the apocrypha. Yeah, man, living in some serious times out here, man. And again, when you see women going wild like that, man, you know this shit is through. <laughs> when they used to be pleasant. You know, the scriptures talks about how um they wouldn't even set their foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, man. Now they out here, man, uh, please, man, wearing Jordans, a jump a fence on your ass and get the clapping at you, bro. They're not to be trusted. Ecclesiastes 39 and 28, there be spirits, also known as the Book of Sirach, and um, this is the King James Version with the Apocrypha. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Yep, Ecclesiastes 39 and 28, also known as the Book of Sirach, Salachia. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the Lord created spirits to appease his wrath. And these Christians don't teach that, man. They, that's why people don't have no healthy fear of the Lord. Reason being is because they're teaching you, teaching you that idolatrous white Jesus, which is a damn idol. He loves everything. He loves everybody. You're already saved by grace. They don't teach you the proper... They don't teach the proper way of the scriptures, man, that people will have, you know, a reverence and fear for the Lord that created all things, man. Fire and hell and famine and, and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in this commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So these, these spirits, they get a command from the Lord, and they happy to go and do that work, man. It clearly says they rejoice in his commandment. 
So, hey, it, 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 you know, hey, it's high time to awake out of sleep and know that we're living in the last days because these things are not going to, nothing, this shit is not gonna, about to get better. All this election shit, this shit, none of these, these Kamala or Trump is not going to make America better, man. This place it was was founded and stolen on, on complete vicious murders. And it's going to end out like that. It's going to end out um, just as tragically as it was, um, you know, um, brought forth. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. All right. It's high time to awake out of sleep. You can't say that. All these heinous things that's going on in the world that this place is going to continue. Continue to continue to do what? When shit is as wicked as it is right now, how long do you really think a place like this is going to last? You know, with another generation, two generations, three generations coming through. It's, it, 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 nothing can last, man, with, with, with this kind of wickedness, man. It's all death. It's all destructive, man. This this planet has been running to the ground, man. And mainly by the, the people that's actually running it. Esau Edom, the so-called white man. This is the results of wicked people running the planet. In fact, we can get one more. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. You got a wicked people running the earth, man. So, of course, the people are mourning. People are depressed. People have anxiety, man. Because the wicked, the so-called white man is running the planet. You're not going to get around that. He's not going to make things better. He's only designed to, to be destructive. The Lord didn't, didn't, didn't design him to be a, 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 a real life force, man. He, 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 he's, he's, the, he's the guy on the red horse, man, that, that's taking peace, peace from the earth, man. And people are just, you know, running about the earth and they're they're living after the, the, the mindset of this man and they're destroying themselves. Anyway, I'm going to end out there. I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah and the Baba Ball.